to keep doing that. I can go in a roundabout way to fix it, which I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to take take back the, uh, not this one, but the one that I'm going to use. This whole thing. That is the Roland uh, doing that. It is uh, a polyphony problem. It's a huge problem. I mean, I am doing heavy patches and stuff like that, but I mean, come on. You know, if you're going to make something this heavy, at least build the engine to handle it. You have to go in and dismantle the partials and do all this uh, work around, and there's still no guarantee that it may not skip. And it's one of the reasons why I, I stem out my projects rather than just record them uh, outright as they are but even doing that when you solo the tracks it'll still the engine will still play the rest of them so you'll still get that skipping in it but you might not just depending on what it is these these ones right here these these enzyme these enzyme model expansions are heavy And, uh, yeah. It's definitely problematic. And, uh, yeah. it wasn't doing that with the non-enzyme model expansions. It goes as long as you let it go for. It's being interrupted. It doesn't stop on its own. Now, if I want to complete a beat, how am I supposed to complete the beat if I can't even complete the beat because my polyphony has been maxed out? It's a modern day synthesizer. This is 2023 here. Drums, drums, drums. I mean, all these drums are, are mostly snares. So we got snare, snare, kick, kick, hats, right? Harpsichord of no consequence. Bass. Then you got strings, no consequence. So then we got these seven patches over here. What do we have? Electric guitar, really of no consequence. Natural instrument, as far as that goes. We got a, a synth, Model J, 
Uh, it's enzyme, bell of no consequence. So we got one, two so far, uh, three, which is the Juno, another Juno, enzyme. So we got enzyme, Juno, Juno, enzyme, and one other synth. Five synth elements, five of them, out of 16 tracks. And, and we don't even have all 16 of them filled. We have number eight that's empty still. They're not even all playing at the same time. If the synth engine can't handle a project that's filling up these squares, how am I supposed to, by any stretch of the imagination, fill up any of these other patterns here? Because these patterns will go to the distance. It's not really a big deal. It doesn't matter what the pattern is as much as it matters what the sound is. And the patterns run into each other. And that's where it gets tripped up. But still, five synth elements. And the rest are, are basic instrument patches. Without even playing that, it trips up. So what do we do in situations like these to where you have a $3,500 keyboard... that is outperformed by a $1,500 computer. I understand hardware buttons and all that other stuff. But like, seriously, what are we talking about here? What are we talking about that costs so much to where you can't even get the sounds to play at the same time? This isn't just Akai putting out samplers that are basically computers and not instruments. The instruments that do come out, keyboard, synthesizer, workstation, flagship, $3,500. And you can't hold a whole project I run into it quite a bit because I build a lot of projects. I build a lot of beats out of here. Why do you think I haven't cooked beats in here uh, in like four months? I couldn't wait to get my projects out of here so I could be done with all that crap. Now, I don't mind the polyphony skipping when it's jumping another synth or something like that. It works great for, for my particular style. Uh, it gives some, some extras in it and uh, it, it has a nice little element. But when it stops the drums from beating, when the, when the snares don't complete themselves on, and you have problems on the downbeat to where it just eliminates the drum, how do we fix this? I usually stem out what I need when I'm doing a project, but this isn't a big project here. After everything's all said and done, I don't plan on going past this row C over here. But I can't even get the first row filled up. What is Roland's response? Well, I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> I haven't contacted them and I refuse to because I have friends that are way more important than me who have and they have been given the cold shoulder. So, uh, you know, I'm nobody. Um, I'm a broke ass underpaid uh, musician uh, with a non monetized YouTube channel that's barely, barely reaching close to the thousand mark right now. Even though I give the Phantom more airtime than any other YouTuber. And it's not only that, I've done the most things with them. I'm not trying to build myself up to be a uh, King Phantom guy or whatever over here. It's just I spend and have spent so much time on YouTube since this keyboard and I've done so many things with it. Roland knows about me. They've known about me since doing the um, Phantom review. They don't take criticisms well. When you take a look at their gear overall across their entire spectrum, they mostly hit. But when you have all this cool stuff and you have all these items that do these cool things, but you can't get your flagship keyboard under control, it's not just the polyphony issues here. It's the lack of time stretching. It's the, it's the pads, you know? They know what they're doing and they know what kind of tools and equipment to make whatever to do what they need to do. They just didn't want to do anything but trigger pads, whatever market research they did to, to go that route. But I'm not mad at them over the pads. The pads, you know, to me at first was the biggest thing. The sampler is the biggest thing, um, but it's also, God, the polyphony thing is just 
become such a big thing since the since the enzyme model expansion this thing hasn't been updated in over a year the real problem here is the lack of time stretching in the sampler and the uh, synth engine skipping the polyphony on basic patches to where even the piano the piano engine's a big a big deal here in the phantom i have a full comprehensive list of every single problem that has been documented on this channel just within the past few weeks i want to proceed with this and i want to finish and already i'm being tripped up because what i want to do in here and how i want to play this isn't going to translate now i can play it and deal with the skips and it'll still copy my note it'll still copy what i play but i won't play what i play the way that i was going to play it if the note is skipping it trips me up so i'm automatically readjusting my flow just so i can compensate and remind my brain that hey don't stop when the polyphony skips keep it going it'll record it in the midi anyway and then it'll skip somewhere else in the project later on and then we'll figure all that out when the time comes but taking these out in the mixer window over here and soloing these up over here it does not change it it does not change the polyphony skipping it'll still skip regardless there's nothing you can do about it when professionals like professional keyboardists that own every single flagship from every company when they reach out to roland and roland gives them the cold shoulder i'm not going to even attempt that conversation one because i'm not going to be nice about it two i'm not going to get any results so i'd just be wasting my time and three what difference does it make anyway it would probably uh, result in a financial fix and I've dumped all the money I'm going to in this goddamn uh, setup here. You know, it should not be for a flagship to where these fixes haven't been patched in in over a year's time with no update because they're too busy working on their cloud software that was shit come rollout. So, you know, it's kind of like the Akai thing. You know, they've been spending all this time working on their software. They have problems with their hardware communicating with their software to where stuff bricks and crashes and has issues. You know, we see it happen on people's streams all the time. It doesn't make them crappy instruments. It just makes them less than uh, what they are supposed to be. And if you're charging these premium rates for these things, it's a problem. So what do I do here? I want to put my piece in there that I was just playing and it's not letting me play it. See, there it is, right there on the drums. It is frustrating. Oh, let me turn this thing off over here. Now try this one on for size. What if I had a deadline that I had to meet tomorrow? What if this was the only thing that I had around or whatever, or the project that I was working on was something that required uh, a sound that was specific to this keyboard and the stuff going on here? What would happen during that time? I would be screwed, right? I, I would have to work around this whole thing. I do have to work around this whole thing. You hear that? Of course you did. We all can hear it. I fulfilled my end. I, you know, I don't have it overblown. I have it nice and mixed. I'm not using obnoxious patches. Yes, I have two model expansion uh, enzymes in it. I have, uh, and then I have uh, two Junos. You know, it's like, 
that if you're going to be a flagship that has houses all of these synthesizers, but yet they can't work together enough to not skip the polyphony and interrupt you from being able to have complete drums. The whole idea of this was to cook for fun, you know, without intent. This is not fun. This right here, this is not fun. Now, I mean, it doesn't shit on all my projects everywhere and everything, but you know, I've had these issues to where there's certain things that I can't take out of here. But do you think I'm going to crawl my way and to try to resolve these polyphony issues while I waste everybody's time here on stream? First of all, I can't fix it. So my workaround is degrading the project and reducing it to something that is lesser than what it was going to be. And if I'm going to do that, why even do a project to begin with? I'm completely unmotivated to finish these projects because of this shit. And what's to stop me from needing to deal with it with the next one? It's not just a Kai. You know, it's not just in music. But still, Roland, <sighs> I will never, ever, 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 ever get a flagship from them. Ever. And this is my first. I could delete these right now and it won't mean anything.